Good evening to all of you. I'm really delighted to contribute to this year's Friends of the Institut des Hautes Études Scientifiques Gala. I don't belong to your crowd. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a mathematician. But I do know how it feels to be the only woman in the room. Many female scientists, mathematicians, may also know what that's like. Actually, recent figures show that women remain underrepresented in fundamental research, particularly in math. For example, in France, only about one-fifth of permanent positions in mathematics, such, such as researchers, directors and professors, are currently held by women. What's even worse, there has been little progress over the past decade. If we look at the United States, women take up just under a third of such position. But that is still far away from gender parity. Female scientists, and particularly mathematicians, still face tough challenges to move forward in their career. Studies show that female mathematicians are less likely to receive grants, tenure positions, or awards. Addressing this issue is vital and in everybody's interest. The disciplines of sciences, technology, engineering and mathematics, STEM, are key drivers for economic growth. And gender-balanced working groups benefit from richer perspectives and a more inclusive environment. This in turn motivates people to perform at their best. So now is a good time to support women in their professional development. Now is a good time to address the implicit social biases that prevent women from thriving in traditionally male-dominated fields, more generally, including in areas such as engineering, information and communication technologies. Because these are fields that are crucial as we transition to a more digital and more sustainable economy. We will need all talent, all bright women and men across the world to rebuild our economies for a more sustainable and more inclusive future. Encouraging women to thrive in any discipline makes sense in terms of fairness, in terms of inclusion, but also in terms of productivity and growth. As we emerge from the pandemic and the deep economic fallout that accompanied it, we need to seize this opportunity to rebuild in a more equal, more diverse way for the benefit of our collective future, men and women alike. At the European Central Bank, we want to contribute also by supporting the transition to a greener and more digital economy with the help of skilled and talented women. We recently launched a new set of gender targets aimed at empowering our female colleagues. And in the same vein, I celebrate the Institut des Hautes Études Scientifiques decision to welcome their first female permanent professor. This is a big step in the right direction. It's a first, it should be pursued. To achieve more equal opportunities for all, deep structural reform is necessary, and this needs to be financed. That is why initiatives like this gala, as well as the work done by others, are so important. A fantastic example is Marilyn Simons, the co-founder of the Simons Foundation and this year's gala honoree. Congratulations, Marilyn. The Simons Foundation funds basic research and educational programs in STEM subjects, regardless of gender. Finally, I would like to say to all women out there trying to claim their space, don't be afraid to rise to the challenge. Don't underestimate you. Know your value. Have confidence in your skills and what you bring to the table. It's a lot. Be ready to prove it. Forge alliances with other people who can support you 
and lift you up when you struggle to do so yourself. And most importantly, be resilient and never give up. Even if the path to success seems to have no end in sight, keep walking because with every step, you will get closer to the goal. Thank you again very much for your invitation and enjoy the rest of the gala. Thank you.